Hello, everyone. It's great to see you. I dropped by today quite unexpectedly. Honestly, I didn't plan on making a video today, but there are quite a few recent mods that I feel I absolutely have to introduce to you. So in the end, I decided to shoot a video. Let's get started right away. First up, we have custom hair color. I was so fascinated by this mod that it inspired me to shoot this video. It allows you to change the hair color of almost any actor in the game, including NPCs and player characters. Simply place the crosshair on the actor, press Shift plus E, and a GUI window will appear, allowing you to adjust the hair color. I was truly amazed when I discovered this. What's even more astonishing is that this mod is an SKSE plugin requiring no ESP file. The only requirements are the address library for SKSE plugins and SKSE itself. Currently, it's only supported in SSE, but there's potential for future support in AE, so stay tuned. Next up is Color Master. This mod allows you to change the skin color of any NPC or player character in real time without the need to open NIF or CK files to regenerate face skin data. Simply place the crosshair on an actor, press Shift plus A to open the color editing window, and from there, you can adjust their skin color. It's truly an astounding mod. Similar to the previously mentioned mod, Color Master is also an SKSE plugin and doesn't require an ESP file. I can't help but wonder how these mods are created. What do you think? Aren't they simply astonishing? Next up is Dodgeable Concentration Spells. This mod, an SKSE plugin, aims to make concentration spells, like Flames or Frostbite, cast by enemies less frustrating. In the vanilla game, it's quite vexing how necromancers, for example, can perfectly target characters with concentration spells. However, with this plugin, players now have a chance to partially evade these spells when used by enemy spellcasters. Personally, I often found it unrealistic how accurately enemies would target with concentration spells. This mod addresses such issues quite effectively. Next, we have JK's Solitude Outskirts, a version of JK's Solitude by Jake Rojmal. It's an enriched city expansion in the JK style. For those who have always admired JK's mods, adding this series to your collection could be a great idea. It beautifully extends solitude, encompassing everything from solitude farms and stables to the sawmill, docks, and the solitude side entrance. This enhancement is sure to elevate your adventure in solitude. Next up is the Flower Field Tundra Overhaul by Kemper. This mod adds beautiful flower fields to the tundra regions. Initially, it might seem a bit unconventional to add such vibrant flowers to the tundra, but upon testing it with my grass mods, it created some remarkably beautiful scenes. Although the abundance of vibrant flowers did lead to some frame drops, I decided to feature this mod because its brilliance and radiance could be an astonishing option to make your Skyrim truly stand out. With some adjustment of these flower objects, Combining them with different grass mods, this mod has the potential to become truly exceptional. Next up is the Obscure Magic mod by Kitty Tail. It introduces a set of enchanting flame effects to various spells, giving them a kind of dazzling quality. There are a total of 12 different effects. Some spells even summon a maze that shines in a golden hue, while others offer destructive magic with vivid blue and red tones. These spells can be found at fixed points throughout the world, sold by specific magic vendors, and are rarely obtained from certain types of enemies and NPCs. Remember, you don't have to be a mage to appreciate the added flair these spells bring. You can also consider incorporating them into your combat movements using tools like MCO. I've explained how to add magical annotations to various movement sets in a separate video, so feel free to check it out for reference.
Next, we have Sonderbane's Dynamic Torch Idle Animations mod. This mod brings a variety of new idle animations for characters holding torches. It showcases Sonderbane's distinctive style, and for those already using the Sonderbane series, this would be a great addition. The mod applies to both male and female characters, and it allows for random selection of idle animations based on the type of outfit worn. You can choose between DAR and OAR installations based on your preference. Next up is the Capture Warmer SKSE plugin. It provides a feature to capture reflection data, addressing the issue of not resetting the cube map when changing cells. This was a problem I discovered for the first time recently. I'm not sure how these issues are identified in the first place. After deactivating this plugin and having the character move outside the cell, then re entering, I recorded a before and after video and I could clearly see a difference in the reflection effects. For those of you using ENB Dynamic Cuba Map, it might be worth paying attention to this plugin. Next up is the Coco Lolita outfit. Just as the title suggests, it's a gothic-inspired outfit created by Coco. With several color options and realistic physics applied to all parts, it gives off an overall high-quality impression. I personally chose a color and tried it on. The dress-like skirt is beautiful, but the mesh-like gloves and stockings add a unique charm to this attire. The ribbon on the head further enhances the character's cuteness. By adding the crossbell belt and cattail accessory from the cosplay, I tried to harmonize the outfit even more. If you like the look, I recommend giving it a try. Next up is Elle's Dominique outfit. This attire adds an assassin or magical vibe, emphasizing the black silhouette. It consists of a total of 10 parts, with the black hood being the defining characteristic of this outfit. The top, accentuating the silhouette, and shorts-like bottoms are of high quality. The black boots and bandage-wrapped gloves add an extra touch to the outfit's atmosphere. Thank you for joining me in exploring these amazing new Skyrim mods for November 2023. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fantastic mod showcases. Sponsorship through Patreon is very helpful in video production. And as always, happy adventuring in the world of Skyrim.